Manila is a beautiful and unique city that is home to many foreigners who are living in the Philippines. But as Manila is the capital city, there are indeed many advantages and disadvantages of living in the capital. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the pros and cons of life in Manila, what's the overall living experience as a foreigner living in Manila, and also be discussing many other questions along the way. There are many different types of pros and cons, so we're going to rattle through these as quick as possible. But before we do, it's important to consider that the pandemic has affected life for expats who are living in Manila, and thus it may be wise to keep the pandemic at the back of the mind as we go through these pros and cons. So let's dive into the section of pros of living in Manila. The first advantage is the exceptional level of spoken English. According to the English Proficiency Index, the Philippines ranks second highest country in Asia for spoken English and 27th globally. The next advantage is fantastic nightlife. Manila is home to some of the most incredible nightlife experiences in the Philippines. Many wine bars and smaller establishments are stretched across Manila. However, as it is the capital city, some prices can be slightly high. Another benefit of life in Manila is the amazing food. Food in Manila is highly available, and if you're looking to stay in and enjoy a home delivery service, there are also many options to choose from. This is then followed by investment and business opportunities. According to the PSA, in the first quarter of 2021, just under 20 billion pesos has been invested in the Philippines. Manila has been known for some time now to overseas investors due to its real estate opportunities. Next, we have the friendly, professional, and respectful local. Locals. One of the reasons that you may fall in love with the Philippines is just how friendly, professional and respectful the locals are. You may find many professionals who are living in Manila due to career paths. And lastly, we have the gigantic shopping malls. If you've ever got lost in a shopping mall in the Philippines, trust me, you're not alone. One benefit is that it does bring a huge selection of cosmetic goods to expats who are living in Manila. And this includes local and international brands. Now, now let's take a look at some cons of living in Manila as an expat. The first disadvantage is perhaps one of the most well known and that is the congested traffic. According to Global Satisfaction conducted by WAS, the area of Metro Manila has the worst traffic in Southeast Asia. There are also many reports from expats who have confirmed just how horrendous the traffic can be. This is followed by the crime rates. And statistically, on average, levels of crime range from moderate to very high. Therefore, the crime index score does fluctuate between high and moderate depending on the source. In addition, back in 2018, Statistica stated that the most common type of crime in the Philippines was theft. However, crime in Manila does vary and this is ranging from petty crime up to more serious and dangerous crimes. This is then followed by the higher cost of living. As an expat living in Manila, you may find everyday items as well as other living expenses to be much more expensive. This is natural being a capital city, however it does increase your overall cost of living if you are to live full time in the Philippines. You may also find overcrowding in certain areas. The current population of the Philippines Philippines is 111 million. This is expected to grow to 136 million by the year 2040. According to the World Population Review, the current population of Manila stands at 1.6 million. We then move on to a heavy documented subject of noticeable poverty. Borgen Project released a fantastic publication discussing how best to combat poverty in the Philippines. They have mentioned that there is an estimated 3.1 million homeless people living in Manila. It's very hard to witness but visible poverty is very common in Manila and with the rise of inflation many families sadly find themselves under the poverty line. And the last disadvantage is that some areas can become neglected. Manila itself is a magnificent city and it has a certain charm about it. Still, unfortunately, some areas can become neglected. It is not uncommon to see half-built buildings and abandoned garbage in parts of Manila. But as this is the capital, this can be expected to a certain degree. 
So now we've looked at the pros and cons of living in Manila, one question you may be asking is what is life like for an expat living in Manila? There are many different areas to discuss when addressing what life is like in Manila as an expat. However, if I was to summarize this answer into a few sentences, I would say that life in Manila as an expat is more expensive and hectic and many expats find other cities outside of Metro Manila more convenient for living. Nonetheless, Manila is a beautiful and one-of-a-kind city that does offer many advantages to expats. In addition, I would say one advantage to Manila which I didn't mention previously and that is Manila has been influenced by international culture and this includes American culture and even Korean culture. If you enjoy the quieter life and you are looking to save some extra cash, Manila may not be the best city to live in. But if money is not a problem and you enjoy the busyness of a capital, then Manila will not disappoint. Another question you may be wondering is what about the expat community? Where do many expats live in the Philippines? According to HSBC, in a recent publication which was updated in October of 2020, most expats in the Philippines live in the Manila area. However, there is minimum information and statistics about where expats live at this moment in time. Many international corporations are based in Manila, and one is led to believe that this is where many expats live. Furthermore, some accounts from the online community suggest that many expats live in and around Cebu City. 